Welcome, everyone. Um, I'm Susan Harrell, media coach, marketing strategist, and author of Sell Yourself Without Selling Your Soul, and I am here with Marisa Murgatroyd, How to Translate Your Big Vision into a Compelling Message and Magnetic Brand, and this is going to give you more clarity, income, and freedom in your business in 2013. I invited Marisa to do a webinar for you because she's got two components that I think are really important for you. She focuses on message to money, getting your messaging down, and then mastering the internet. And I had been following Marisa. As you know, my, my pattern is to follow people, to investigate them, um, to, to listen to their webinars ahead of time, and see if their style and their information is in sync. And what I found with Marisa is that you know, her message was matched to who she was and the beautiful visuals that she displays on her website. And then when I met her in person on the phone, I found that that was all in sync too. So we both follow Gandhi's philosophy, which is my life is my message. And so that's one of the reasons why I invited her too, because she walks her talk and she's going to show you how to do that on your website. And, you know, I, I help you do that in person. So hopefully that translates to your website and your brand. So I really am thrilled to have you here, Marisa, because um, I think it's so important to get the message down and to have that come through all of your marketing. And one of the things that we talked about just briefly before we came on is that it was so important to get the message in the band brand right and then apply it to your content and marketing and get really clear about that. So that's what we're going to focus on today. So welcome. I'm so thrilled to have you with us. Thank you so much, Susan. And it's really a pleasure to be here with your audience and to reach people who are out there and ready to be on some big stages. You know, I know a lot of the people who follow you, Susan, really are poised to get that publicity, to get that attention from the media, from lots of sources. So what we're going to talk about today is really core to that because, of course, once the camera turns on you, once you've got that reporter there, you've got to know what to say. And knowing what to say is perhaps the most important thing that you can do in your business and it sounds so obvious, but it's the thing that so many people forget to do, you know? It's like everyone spends their time focused on all sorts of things like their website and their marketing before they've gotten the core message down. And that's a mistake. And I'm going to show you why it's a mistake in just a second. So stop me if you've heard this one before. Two websites walk into a bar, right? One of them is named Steve. <laughs> I, have heard, I have not heard it, but I love jokes. Okay. Thank you. Well, one of them is named Steve. You can see him there on the right. And he instantly gets all the women and all the beer, and people are just bringing him drinks. They're coming up to him. They're asking him his name. And the other website, Larry, on the left, he's, like, waving his arms. He's screaming. He's trying to get a beer, but the bartender you won't even notice him, right? So what's the first website Steve doing that the second website Larry isn't doing? Well, first of all, Steve understands exactly what he needs to do to beat the odds. I mean, there are a bar full of people here, and he knows what he's got to do to beat the odds. All right? And let me show you what I mean here. There are 2.4 billion people online. 2.4 billion. And that number is increasing almost exponentially every single year. And the good news about that is that regardless of whether you're a speaker, an author, a coach, a consultant, a doctor, a lawyer, a healer, an artist, whatever it is that you do, there's an audience hungry for what you do online. You just have to figure out how to re reach them and how to communicate in a way that inspires them. But here's the rub. So let's get real for a second and take a look at what you're up against. There are 634 million other websites online and another 51 million new sites that come online every single year. I mean, that means something like 140,000 new websites a day, and the vast majority of these never turn a profit. Right. So why is that? Why are there so many people trying to get their message out there in a massive way, but so few people who are actually connecting, landing with their message, and turning a profit with it? So the reason why is in this crowded space, in the space where everyone's on caffeine and everyone's got ADHD and everyone's got 20 million tabs open, is you only have three seconds, three to seven seconds to really grab someone's attention or you lose them. And in person, you know, people are polite. They're not going to just walk away after three seconds. 
But online, you're always just three seconds and one click away from that back button, that close button, that goodbye, good night, good luck button. And when people leave, they leave forever. And you've just lost the opportunity to transform someone's life with your message, right? You know, the vast majority, like 70% of all website visits are one-time visits, unique visits that don't happen again unless you capture that person's name and email address, right? The good news is that you're also three seconds and one click away from your biggest client, your most raving fan, your best partner. You know, Susan discovered me online before we even spoke. So she came to my website. I discover you online, and, and I stayed way more than three seconds on your website. And it's the same in person, by the way. You only have three seconds to, see, to get people engaged with you. So that's, it's really important. It's in person and in print or on your website. So that's a really, really important point. That's not long. No, it's not long, and I know you teach people how to kind of formulate their message in sound bites, and I want to show you how to get that message out through everything that you put out into the world, through your content, through your blog posts, through your website, through your marketing, because all of it is super important. And so now let's go back to our two websites. You know, Steve gets this three-second rule. You know, he understands that all he has is three to seven seconds to make that first impression, and he knows exactly what he has to do in those three to seven seconds to really keep his audience reading, to get them to click through, and to best of all, you know, get them to sign up and ultimately purchase from him. So more about that later, but first I want to ask you, how many here on the line are like Steve, our popular website, and how many of you are like Larry? So if you're like Steve, you've got a website that you absolutely love, you know, a website that's bringing in subscribers and followers and fans and clients every single day. But if you're like Larry, well, then either you don't have a website or you've gotten a website that you're kind of embarrassed about, right? Or you've got a website that just sits there. It might look pretty, but it's not getting any kind of results for your business. It doesn't grow your list, and it definitely isn't making you money. So let me know in the questions panel here whether you're like Larry or whether you're like Steve. And we'll be using this questions panel throughout the presentation so you can interact with me and engage with me. And I've got Deb on the line, my online business manager, and she's tracking all of your questions. She'll answer the easy questions, and for the more difficult questions, she'll keep track of them and let me know at the end of the call, because I always stay on the line until every one of your questions is answered, okay? So feel free to, to shoot out questions when you have them, and she'll be monitoring them. All right. I so can see there's see. a lot of people like Larry, that they've said there's a lot of people <laughs> like Larry over there. A few like Steve. Congratulations, Steve people and, and Larry people. You're, you're all you know, going gonna, to gonna learn tons of, of great stuff from Mar Marisa, both of you, the Steve and Larry. Absolutely. Yeah. So there are definitely a lot of Larrys, but even the people yeah. who are saying they're like Steve say they still need to reach more people. That's what Peter says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, some people say that they're happy, but other people are like Steve on occasion and really want to make it Steve all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I'd like to do today is I, I want to show you all how to be like Steve, not just to have a good Steve day, but how to be like Steve all the time, you know, how to have a website that you not only love, but a website that's getting you results. It's actually performing day in and day out. You know, I want to show you how to be so clear and so inspired about who you are, what you do, and who you serve that you can instantly convey that to your audience, whether you're meeting them at a bar or whether you're meeting them online, on your website, on your Facebook page. So on this webinar, what we're going to do is that I want to give you some really potent tools that are going to change how you look at your business and transform the work that you're doing on a daily basis. So you're not really doing that busy work, you know, working on the outer stuff of your business, but you're going to get to the real important work, the stuff that helps you send that right message to your tribe you know, about what you do and help you attract the kind of people that respect your time, that respect your skills, and that are willing to pay you for that, right? I'm also going to show you how to position yourself in the most effective way so you can charge what you're worth and also how to create a unique and authentic brand and a web presence that's going to allow thousands of people to find you, to follow you, to connect with you in a deep and authentic way. We're not talking about surface connection here. We're talking about real trust and connection. So first what I want to do is I want to tell you how I went from being Larry to Steve. Okay? So in 2009, I started my very first company. It was called Be Seen Boldly. And at the time, I was just like Larry. Let me tell you. You know, I thought if I have a website, if I offer some stuff, I'm just going to be in business and people are going to start buying from me, right? Wrong. 
That's not the way it turned out. And I was working something like 14 hours a day, you know, between the client work, between working on my site and my blogging, my networking, everything that I was doing, everything that the gurus told me I should be doing, I was burning myself out. But I wasn't seeing the results of my actions and I felt stuck. I felt like I was going nowhere fast. You know, I was stuck because I didn't love my business name. I didn't love my brand. I thought I was in the wrong niche, but I didn't have the clarity to figure out what the right brand and business name and niche was. I was so embarrassed about my website, really was Larry, that I didn't want to give out business cards, right? Because I didn't want people to actually go and check out my sites. And then I was reluctant to do the hard work of marketing my business because I was putting out the wrong messages and I didn't feel comfortable about the messages I was sending out. So of course I was attracting the wrong clients, the people who were complaining and whining about my prices, who didn't appreciate me or respect my expertise. You've had some of those too that I can tell. Mm -hmm. You know? So despite this career that I had working with big agencies for like eight years on projects for the Getty Museum and PBS and the state of California, people just didn't see my value. So I was just getting super discouraged because the work that I was doing and I was working hard just wasn't getting me the attention that I deserved. I wasn't getting the impact that I really wanted. And I knew that I had a big message for the world. I knew I could help a lot of people, but I just couldn't figure out how to get it out there in a real way. And the worst thing about it was that I had already invested so much time and so much money into this that I didn't feel like I could change directions. I didn't feel like I could change my business strategy and my brand. And I even sunk like $20,000 in a well-known coach. And he just told me, keep doing what you're doing, you know? So I found myself digging deeper and deeper into a hole. And I want to check in with you guys for a second. Is anyone here experiencing this? You know, does anyone feel like you're at this point in your business where you feel like you're stuck and you're working hard, but you're just not seeing the results? So let me know in the question box so I can see whether that's the case for you. So let me know for a second. All right, so I definitely see some yeses from, from Jen and Paul and Paula and Mark. I see Carol changing directions. William says, working hard and not seeing results get discouraged at mm, times. Mm -hmm. Erica, Mark, Taryn, yes, you are getting results, but it's inconsistent. Mm -hmm. And Kent said, add in the pinball bouncing from school to school. <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. pretty much across the board, you guys are feeling this way, right? Mm -hmm. And I know because I spent years feeling this way. And something was just wrong in my business, and I didn't know what it was. But of course, this is a story and there's a happy ending. So something had to give. And what changed everything for me was a conversation with a friend. And when I say conversation, it was more of a business of intervention, you know, like on a scale of HBO. This guy sat me down and he said, look, Marisa, you're not BC and Boldly. This brand, this business doesn't reflect who you are and what you really do for people. It's actually holding you back. And I fought him on this, you know. I said, I'm taking action. I've got a website out there. I'm getting clients. It's good enough. And he said, no, it's not, Marisa. You know, you're not this. People aren't getting you. They're not connecting with you. You're bigger than this. And this is keeping you from really going to that next level. And I knew he was right. I didn't want to admit it at the time, but I knew he was right because I'd hit that ceiling. There was a lid on what I could accomplish in my business, and I knew I had to do something different, right? So tough love, right? It hurt. But I realized that I didn't want to waste any more time running myself into the ground trying to stick band-aids on a business that was broken. So I knew I had to do something different, and I knew I had to figure it out. So I stopped taking clients. I cleared my schedule for three months, and I took a step back to work on myself in my business. And it was thanks to that work on myself, on my message, on the center of my business, that everything really started to change it started to click in a way that it never had before. So I rebranded myself as Live Your Message and I launched the web platform that you see today. So during 2011, that very first year, it just kind of started to explode almost as soon as it went live. And the very first indication that things were going well is that I was able to raise my package rates with every new client that I brought on. So starting at less than $10,000 in 2011 to over $20,000 today, and now I can easily ask for and get $5,000 a day for my time. So people were perceiving me different. And of course, based on what I learned, you know, because I was reinventing not just my own brand, but the message, the brands and the web platforms of thought leaders like Alexis Neely and Don Crowther, you know, Morgana Ray and Michelle, Michelle Schubnell. So 
I was working with these kinds of clients and reinventing their platforms than I did it on myself. And so I was able to kind of package this all up and create my signature program, Message to Money, and we accepted over 100 students last year. So I was also able to expand my team and bring in a social media manager, bring in my online business manager, bring in my copywriter, you know, bring in my researcher. And that lets us really have the impact that I've always wanted to touch the lives of tens of thousands of people. So I was finally at the point where I felt like my big vision for myself had finally happened, you know? And the good news is I was able to just explode my income. That very first year, I pretty much tripled my income from $58,000 to $176,000. And this year, I'm on track to at least double, if not triple that again, and hit mid six figures, you know, anywhere between three hundred dollars and $500,000. And I'm not saying that because I want to brag. I want to show you what's possible when you get this stuff right. And of course, what that's done is it's let me to really live a lifestyle, you know, working around the world from locations like Thailand and Bali and New Orleans. And that gives me the juice and the fuel to just keep dreaming and to keep kind of doing things on a bigger scale. And what's more important for me than that is that we've been able to start helping all of these people to really distill their big vision for their business into a powerful, evocative message that their audience gets, that their audience wants to be a part of, and to build all the web systems they need to get out there on a massive scale. You know, I did it, and then I saw how other people could do it. And that's what I want to share with you today. Because I think a lot of you will agree with me. If I ask you why you're on this call, you're going to say that you want to make an impact in the world, that you're here to make a difference. And that's really where so many entrepreneurs are coming from. You know, Steve Jobs even said it. He said, we're here to make a dent in the universe. And I believe that, and I want to help you do that. And the way I do that is through supporting people like entrepreneurs and small business owners like you to really empower you to build that leading brand, to build that lucrative web platform that's going to allow you to be amazingly successful doing what you love. And it's because of that that I'm here today delivering this training and because of that that I want to make it really clear that this is a different kind of training webinar. And I'm sure you've been on lots of webinars recently over the past few years, you know, and they always follow the same format. You've got some guy who talks for an hour, you know, he tells a couple stories, he doesn't teach you much of anything, and it's basically this hour-long pitch fest, right, where he teases the good stuff at the end, the useful stuff at the end, but doesn't teach you anything useful. And then what he does is he says, hey, so if you want to learn my secret, give me a bunch of money, and I'm going to let you into my training program. So I actually want to check in with you and see, have any of you been on a webinar like that? Just let me know in the question box if you've been on a webinar like that. And I hear you chuckling, Susan. I do, I do. And I want to say that that's one of my favorite quotes from Steve Jobs. And I use that in my webinar because it's such a great sound bite. It has such great resonance. And the other thing that I wanted to say that, you, that, that um, you, you know, so I know you and I are both in sync when we're using the same quotes, too. What I wanted to say is I love that you are realistic about your income, too. You know, it's because people think that, you know, okay, I can just pop together my website and then, you know, first year I'm going to earn a million dollars. And we both know that there's a lot of work that goes into that and there's a building process to it. So I love that you're realistic in that, you know, okay, here was my first year income, here's, here's what I did, and here's why I was able to, to raise my rates, and now you're on track to double that. And I know you're going to tell us a little bit about what went on behind the scenes for that you know, to actually happen so people understand that, you know, this is not, you know, a two-week process. Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually going to walk you through the exact six-step process that I went through, you mm -hmm. know, and to show you some exercises so you can get started on that process today. But I am being realistic. You know, if someone comes and tells you that you're going to make a million bucks tomorrow, um, you know, maybe you don't want to believe that person, right? Or mm -hmm. they're going to teach you how to do mm -hmm. something that's not sustainable. And I know that you all want to build a long-term business. You're not here to have a flash-in-the-pan success, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So it looks like a ton of yeah. you. Oh, hell yes, lol. Mm -hmm. I even say Peter says, I brought him to the wealthy affiliate Ponzi scheme and lost $500. Right. I know, right? They ended that's up horrible. teaching me how to trick other people. And the reason why, and someone else, Emily, says every webinar I've attended. Mm -hmm. So I promise you I'm going to give you some real exercises here, okay? And, you know, I really want to be clear that this is not that kind of webinar. You know, I am going to tell you some stories. I am going to do all of that. I do have a training program, and I am going to invite you to join me at the end of it. If it's a good fit, I would love to work with you. But regardless of whether you buy anything from me or not, 
you're going to get a huge amount of value from this training and I promise that you'll walk away with some things that you can put to use right away in your business. You know, I guarantee that I'll show you everything I absolutely can before I talk about anything that I have to sell. So what I want to do is share a quote by a lady by the name of Lisa Brown because I think it's going to resonate with you. And here's what she wrote. And she wrote this to me right before she became a client. She said, I've struggled with the essential task of translating my vision into a compelling message and attractive online platform that feels truly exciting and authentic to both me and my potential clients. I just did not know how to make sense of all the moving parts and felt overwhelmed and confused. As a result, my efforts were piecemeal, non-strategic, expensive, and ultimately disappointing. And I want to ask you, does that sound familiar? Is what Lisa wrote, does it articulate what you feel? Because what I find is it's so easy to have stuff going on, but none of it's really integrated. None of it's really unified. All right. It sounds like a lot of you says, yeah. someone says, Kent says, sounds like this morning. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Erica says a resounding yes. And a bunch, so Cindy says, I felt like I must have wrote that. And because this is where so many of you and where I have come from and so many points of my life too, I really wanted to do something for you today. I actually want to stage a business intervention for you, just like my friend did two years ago, so you can receive the kind of results that I'm seeing. So I'm going to show you what's not working. I'm going to bust a couple myths, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Off love, you know, and hopefully I've got your permission to do this. Because I do have your best interest in heart. I do want you to see you get your message out there and to really succeed. So we're going to cover a lot of ground today. I'm actually going to give you the same six steps that I took after my intervention and the same six steps that I lead my $20,000 one-on-one clients through. And if you follow these steps that I'm going to lay down for you, I guarantee that your business is going to tr transform. You'll start to see results within the a few weeks and the reason why is that as you clarify your message and you bring this clarity into every conversation you know every interaction every piece of content and every touch point in your business your websites your emails you, you know you name it people are gonna start to notice so if that sounds good I've got a favorite to ask you from now until the end of the session I want to ask that you commit to actually working with me on your business I'm gonna be leading you through some processes and some exercises that need your full focus and attention if you're going to see the benefit. So I need you completely with me. Let me know in the question box that you're here and I want to wait for that commitment because otherwise, you know, I'm just an entertainer. I'm wasting your time and I really want so tomorrow, today, you can start doing some things differently in your business. All right, so let me know in the question box if you're ready. Okay, wow, I got wow. <laughs> Awesome response there. I'm ready, committed, I'm committed, yes. All right. All right, so people are in, which is fabulous. So if that's the case, I want you to do just a few things. I want you to go full screen and go to webinar. I want you to shut down your email and definitely shut down Facebook and take some notes, you know. Take notes not just on what I say, but notes around the actions and specific things that you're going to be able to do and apply in your business to get results, okay? All right, so let's go. What happened to me during those three months when I reinvented my business? You know, very first of all, I had a huge realization. I realized that I was starting in the wrong place. You know, most people make the mistake of starting in the outer three rings here. They take an outside in approach. They jump straight into, say, step number five or step number six, you know, their website, their marketing. Because everybody's out there telling you, you've got to have a website, you've got to have a Facebook page, you've got to have an email list. And here's what happens when you do this. Because you're not crystal clear on who you are, what you do, why you're different, and why it matters, then nobody else is clear either. You're sending out mixed messages or even the wrong messages that don't support you in building an audience who's hungry for your stuff. So people land on your site and they bounce away right, like right away without taking any kind of action, without signing up for your mailing list, without buying your products and services, and you've lost that opportunity. You've lost that opportunity to make a connection, to ultimately turn that visitor into a subscriber, into a fan, into a client. So I call failing to be clear, really failing to stand out, and failing to make people understand what you do and why they should care in those critical first few seconds when someone lands on your website, the leaky bucket syndrome. Because I see so many entrepreneurs wasting time and money fixated on all those marketing activities in their business universe without first plugging the holes in their business. 
So if you're directing traffic to a website that fails the three second test and doesn't convert new visitors into leads and clients, then like I said, all that time and effort that you spend on marketing is kind of lost. It's like traffic and prospects and leads go in and nothing comes out. No sales, no clients, no long-term relationships, nothing of real lasting value. And you've wasted that time without having something to show for it. The other mistake that people make is they get obsessed with step number four, you know, their content, packaging up all their knowledge and expertise into products and services and blog posts because they're told that content is king, that all you got to do to make money online is have something to sell. And then what happens? What happens is you spend months, maybe even years, writing books, creating these info products, and nobody buys them, or maybe five people buy them. And has anyone had that experience? You know, has anyone had that experience of just creating something that nobody wants or buys? They have, and I saw that already earlier that people were saying the, tra the problem is I have all the skills and all, all the abilities and all the products, but I don't have the traffic and nobody's coming. Absolutely. It's the traffic, but it's also converting the traffic. That's right. No, it's the traffic and then turning them into to customers. So it's, they don't have the traffic, they don't have the conversion. People are not right. coming and buying. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not something, you know, that's just a symptom you can slap a Band-Aid on, and that's what I'm trying to say here, you know? So it, the reason this myth is so dangerous is it goes something like, you know, like I said, to have success, to make money online, you just got to churn out info products, right? And mm -hmm. you'll start making money while you sleep. And people are going to flock to your stuff. And this is a typical dream that all the gurus are telling you to get you to buy their stuff. <laughs> but the reality is, is that most small business owners have trouble selling their products and programs. And the reason why is because there's so much great free content out there already. You know, people can find free content in Google 24-7. So you can write and record brilliant stuff all day long and have little to show for it because you haven't positioned yourself properly. And you're stuck in what's called a commodity business. You know, commodity businesses are all about providing content and information that's the latest, the shiniest, the most comprehensive, the most all-encompassing. And the problem with this model is that there's always someone out there who's going to come along and do it faster and cheaper than you. And you don't have the brand that we resonate with, so it's just a race to the bottom. So it's not your ideas that are wrong. It's the way that you're positioning them, the way that you're packaging them. So after spending since two years spinning my wheels on these outer three rings, I realized that it didn't matter how pretty my website was, how much marketing I did, how good my products and services were, if I didn't have the core words and images I needed to express my brand. In other words, until I was dead clear about who I was, what I did and why it mattered, nothing I did was going to make a big difference. I mean, sure, I could get clients, I could make sales, but each sale felt like I had to persuade and convince and like twist some arms to get it, right? I wasn't having that kind of off-the-hook result that we imagine when we go into business for ourselves. So what I realized is if I was going to really take off, I needed to take an inside out approach. And the thing is, nobody really talks about this kind of stuff. No one focuses on the middle part, the center, which is really the core of your business universe, right? They talk about all the tricks, the tactics, the strategies for marketing your business online. They don't talk about things like, are you sending the right message to your audience? Are you resonating with them? Are you really positioning yourself relative to everyone else out there in a way that's going to inspire your audience to say yes to you and allow you to command those higher rates, right? Because traffic and conversion, it's not about like Google advertisements. It's about resonance and connection. So the reason why that nobody talks about this is they'd rather stick that Band-Aid on your business. They'd rather bring you a few quick bucks so you think that you're getting results rather than help you build a business that's going to support you over the long term to help you build that platform that's going to evolve with you. And the other reason that no one's talking about this stuff is because there's a myth out there that all that branding, all that positioning, all that messaging stuff, it's just for the big businesses. It's just for the Fortune 500 companies. It's all about sinking millions of dollars into like a Super Bowl ad. But nothing could be further from the truth. And if you think about it, why are all of you here today? All of you are here today because you got an email from Susan an email that told you about me, and you decided to show up and discover what she was raving about, right? Of course you're here because of the content and you're interested in what I have to say, but the real reason you're here is because of Susan, and I thank you for that, Susan. And it's I can't believe you, you put her. in my once recruited by CIA. I declined. They didn't decline me, but yes, thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I got some really funny. great little factoids about your life. You're a really intriguing woman, let me tell you that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
and you know it's because you trust Susan because you value her because you feel like you have a relationship with her so if she says you should go check me out you come and you check me out because it's branding like what Susan's done that allows you to attract the right sort of people into your tribe the kind of people who respect your time and your skills and who are willing to pay for it who are repeat customers it's branding that allows you to charge a premium for your knowledge and to get hundreds even thousands of students and customers and it's branding that allows you to position yourself and be recognized as the number one authority in your particular field or niche. You know, the person that everybody's talking about, the person that everybody wants to work with. So I've got a great tool for creating a memorable message and brand coming up in just a second. But I want to give you a quick real world example of how branding works by telling you the story of Lori Dupar, who used the power of brand to catapult herself literally from unknown to top authority in ADHD coaching in 12 months. So Lori originally had this site that her audience couldn't stand. I mean, I'm not joking here. It was so badly designed for her audience. You can see it all periwinkle and black and soft colors that they just couldn't figure out what it was about. So she thought she'd create this calm, soothing environment, you know, that modeled the experience that she gave for people. But it was so mellow that her audience hardly even noticed it. You know, her audience was flighty. They needed something that was going to grab them and grab them fast, right? So if you and I have three to seven seconds to capture the attention of our audience, she was lucky to get one second with her audience. So we sat down and we spent some time thinking through what people with ADHD would most likely want to see. You know, what's going to capture their attention for long enough to get their fingers off that back button? And on our list were things like bold colors and high contrast, you know, really attention-grabbing graphics, very simple, straightforward design, and super big headlines. So we worked together and we came up with a new design that completely captured the attention of her audience. And I'm not saying your audience has ADHD, some of them probably do, but that there's a lesson to be learned here about shaping your brand to be something that resonates with your particular audience. And did her audience like it? You know, they loved it. So much so that she's been able to launch two books, including a number one Amazon bestseller, seller, host a telesummit, release several products, and she's been able to double her rates. See, it's all positioning. Because she positioned herself right, she's seen a 250% increase in her income and a tenfold increase in her list size. But the more important thing is that she's been able to apply that brand across her entire product suite, which is able to kind of create that sales funnel that's elevated her to go to expert status and allows her to continue to release new products every few months. So that work that we did gave her the message and the confidence to launch herself and stand for something beyond what she does. So everything from her newsletters, her PowerPoint presentation, her products, her website, they all look like her and they all differentiate her from everybody else in her industry. So when you start from the inside and work your way out, like what I'm showing you here today, when you get that center down first, it's like everything becomes a lot easier. Not only do you have the clarity that you need to produce content, you know, your content and your website and your marketing, but you've really got the vision to integrate it all into a coherent whole. And that really matters. You know, you'll have the message and brand and you can carry that message and brand through everything you produce. So it all looks like you and sounds like you and feels like you. And you're sending that one clear, coherent message through everything. You know, no more piecemeal strategies, no more mixed messages or inconsistent signals. It's like this clarity allows people to get you and feel like they can trust you. So let's get into these six steps, all right? Because, you know, Tony Robbins says that the path to success is to take massive, determined action. And I agree with him. But as a strategist, I've got to say it's as long as you're taking the right action. And the right action isn't about building a lot of stuff and putting it out into the universe and hoping the right people are going to find you, because that's about as luck likely as, you know, winning the lottery. The right action is taking a step back and taking a look at what's in your center. Because once you have that clarity around your brand and business, it's like the actions and the next steps unfold from there. So are you ready to work with me on the center of your business? Are you ready for your intervention? Okay, so have you guys heard that anyone say that in order for you to get anywhere, you need to know where you're going? And of course, nowhere is that more true than in business. Because the thing is, when you're right in the thick of it, it's hard to see the big picture of what's really possible for you. You know, but without that vision, it's like your message and your brand are just a bunch of juicy words and pretty pictures. Because your message and brand have to be designed strategically from the ground up to support your business model and serve your business goals. 
I'm talking about strategic messaging, strategic branding here. So what I want to like you to do for a moment is just take a moment and dream big, like dream bold, and really be outrageous with what you want for yourself here. Because it's those big, bold, outrageous goals that propel us into action in the right way that keep us moving forward when the going gets tough. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this is I had a realization last spring when I sat down at my coach and my mentor, Brendan Burchard's 10X Empire events. And the very first day, Brendan just walked on the stage, you know, the way he does or kind of danced on the stage. And he said, does anyone here want to know how I got a $2 million book deal? And the entire audience was like, yeah, you know, tell me. And he said, five years ago, I asked myself, what would it take to get a $2 million book deal? I figured out what I needed, and I set about creating it. And let me tell you, that floored me. Here's a guy who is that strategic, that intentional about his business, that he's been able to build a $10 million a year business in like five years. And that made complete sense to me. You know, if you're ever going to achieve that kind of success, or even a fraction of that kind of success, you've got to create a vision for what's in your future and then reverse engineer it. So what I mean is that you've got to look back from your destination and write down the actions that are going to lead you to the future you design. You've got to create the message and the brand that supports that vision, that's big enough to support that vision. So everybody else believes it too. So my question for you is, what's your $2 million book deal? What does that look like for you? What does success look like for you? What's that big thing where you know that you'll make it? And what do you need to get there? What do we need to create for you to get there? So if regardless of what it is for you, I'm willing to bet that the very first step to getting there is starting in your center. So let's focus in on that right now. Let's focus in on steps two and three. Let's focus in on your message and on your brands. Step number two is the crucial step. It's where we empower your message to really connect with your audience. You know, connecting and communicating who you are and why what you do matters to them. Because if you can't get people to understand you or even pay attention to you, then you're going to have a really hard time getting them to buy from you. So getting your message right or the words you use to describe yourself, describe your business, is perhaps the single most important thing you can do in your business. And because this is so critical for your success, I'd like to lead you through a couple of my fill-in-the-blank message templates. So I call this first exercise your XYZ statement. And it's just one of over 20 different positioning exercises that I teach my students to help them create memorable and authentic business names, you know, product names, taglines, headlines, whatever it is. So a great XYZ statement, it's like a magic spell that allows your audience to really understand why they should care, you know, to pass straight through to that, tell me more, how do I sign up? And because so many people get this wrong, I first want to show you what not to do. You know, in our culture, like our identities are so mixed up with what we do. So the very first question that you inevitably get from someone when they meet you is, what do you do? And most people, when they're asked this question, they say something like, I'm a lawyer, I'm a life coach. And what's just happened is that your audience, that person has put you into a box labeled lawyer and life coach, and they've closed the lid. You know, they're no longer curious. They think they know what you're about and the conversation just comes to a screeching halt or moves on to like the weather, right? And if you've had a little bit more training, you might have said something a bit more specific, you know, like, I'm an intellectual property lawyer, or I'm a holistic life coach, which gives your new friend a little more to hang their hat on, but it doesn't tell them yet who you help and why it matters. So they may nod in recognition, they may say, you know, I gotcha, but you still haven't let them know why they should care. And no one keeps listening if they don't care. So crafting an XYZ statement that actually does this, it's not that hard. You only need three pieces of information. So if you're ready to give this a shot, you know, grab a pen. First off, here's the formula. I help X do Y so that Z. I help my ideal client do this result, outcome, or transformation so they can receive this benefit. Right? I help X do Y so that Z. Here's how I personally fill in the statement. I help entrepreneurs and small business owners translate their big message for the world into a leading brand and a lucrative web platform that positions them as the number one authority in their field so they can get more clients, have more income, and find the freedom they deserve. So are you interested yet? I hope you are, but the thing is, if you're not, that's completely okay because that means that you're not my ideal client. 
and your offer only needs to work with your ideal clients. You don't have to interest everyone and you don't want to interest everyone. So are you getting it? Instead of leading with I design websites, instead of leading with I'm a life coach, you're telling people work with me and you're going to get the specific result. And the reason why it matters is this. So if you've done this well, and if you're talking to someone who actually needs what you have to offer, you're going to start to see some signs. You know, their eyes are going to light up. They're going to ask you, tell me more. How do you do that? Or what I call the home run question. Do you have a card? And I get that one a lot and it feels really good. And when you're using this on your website, you'll start to see your opt-in rates. You know, they double, they triple. You'll see engagement in your social media start to rise. And your sales are going to follow too because people start to see why they should care. So you're going to really want to practice this XYZ statement until you're consistently getting positive responses. You know, try out several different variations and watch to see what hits home. Because mastering this one simple statement, this elevator pitch, is going to completely transform every interaction you have, every piece of content that you put out, and of course transform your business too. So as I mentioned, I've got 20 of these messaging templates, you know, templates such as the guru, the storyteller, the extended metaphor, the slogan, the mashup. And I don't have time to teach all of them to you today, but I'd like to give you one more if you'd like it. I call this next one the big promise. And the very first step of big promise positioning is to ask yourself the following question. What specific outcome or experience can I promise my clients that they want, but they just can't get anywhere else? So let me repeat that. What specific outcome or experience can I promise my clients that they want, but they just can't get anywhere else? So doing this exercise, it's a really easy way to get super clear on your message and your entire brand. Because a big promise is often used to name a business, to name a product, a book, a program, in a way that really positions you differently from everyone else in your market and niche. And it pre-qualifies the prospects that you're attracting like nothing else you can do in business. So let me give you a few examples of big promise positioning. These are from the entrepreneurial world. You might know a few of them, and I'm thinking a few of them are going to really land for you. The first one is Alicia Dunham's bestseller in a weekend. How to go from idea to author in four hours or less, right? So if you are not interested in writing a book, if you're not interested in having a bestseller, you're not going to be interested in this. But if you are, this is going to interest you in a big way. Then we've got Evan Pagan's Wake Up Productive. In 90 days, you'll wake up twice as productive as you are now. Okay, if you're a couch potato, not interested, right? But if you are someone who wants to increase your productivity, you're going to want to know more. Then we've got Stephen Covey's famous book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Powerful Lessons in Personal Change. It's like the previous one, but now I know I only have to master seven habits. I can do that. I can create seven new habits. It's clear, it's specific, it's tangible. And similar to that, we've got Jesse Canone's The Seven Day Back Pain Cure, How Thousands of People Got Relief Without Doctors, Drugs, or Surgery. Okay, seven days. The end is in sight. I can do this, right? So now let's drill down further. The reason why each of these titles work so well is that they all use what I call the eight principles of effective messaging. They all make a promise that's both credible and aspirational. They're also clear, specific, and simple. And finally, they all evoke curiosity. You, you know you want to know more. And they're unique to you, the messenger, by alluding or referencing your specific process, your framework. And they exclude people who are not your customers by letting them know who it's for and who it's not for. So all eight of these principles of effective messaging apply across all 20 of the messaging and positioning templates that I teach and across all the things that you do, you know, your website, your emails, your sales pages. But if there had to be one overriding meta principle here, it's going to be don't be boring, you know? Whatever you do, just don't be boring. And I know Susan teaches that a lot in her soundbite course, right? Mm -hmm. So once you grab attention, you know, and you've got to get it quickly, and once you get your message right, it's like people are just magnetized to you. They literally feel like you're the person, the only person that can help them because you're speaking to the dialogue that they're already having in their minds, right? And you're going to start getting emails like this one. I'm currently working with a high-ticket mastermind group. My membership is coming up for renewal, and I was thinking of not rejoining and exploring how Marisa can help me take my business to the next level. 
can you give me an idea of what Marisa charges for her VIP days? Are we in the $5,000, the $10,000, the $20,000 range? Now, how many of you would like to get emails like this if you aren't already? If this doesn't show you the power of getting your center, your message, your brand, your positioning clear, I don't know what does. She knows that I'm the one to help her, and she's willing to pay whatever it costs. So now let's move on to step number three, branding. So at its core, branding is the art of creating a consistent image across a universe of possibilities. And the good news is that you get to define what you want that experience to be by choosing to represent and run your business in a way that nobody else does. And it all starts with your first impression. You know, by now, you know that you only have a few seconds to get someone's attention online. You know, three to seven seconds to be exact. And in that three to seven seconds, there are some really big things that you got to do. You know, there's actually an art and a science to it. And to help you get it, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite tools. It's a very little-known four-step framework called the product reading sequence. And it's the way that our brains actually experience and perceive new information. So this really kind of powerful marketing framework says that if you give your audience the right information in the right order, you're going to engage the problem solving, the pattern recognition area of their brains. And they're naturally going to do a better job of making sense of what you're all about. So like I said, branding is all about creating a consistent impression or experience that your audience not only wants to receive, but that they want to pass on and they want to share with other people. So here's how this works. Here's how the product reading sequence works. Imagine for a second that you're walking down a supermarket aisle, you know, preferably a really big supermarket. So there are rows and rows of products on every single side of you. And every one of those products have done something kind of extraordinary. You know, they've gotten on the shelves of these big box supermarkets. But their work isn't done. They've still got to get you, the customer, to pull them off their shelf and put them in their basket, right? So if they're already like a heavyweight, they don't need to work that hard because you already recognize them. But if they're a startup product that's just coming to market, they've got to work extra hard because not only do they have to be noticed, they've got to beat out the heavyweights, the people that you already know. So how can they do this? How can they stand out and compete? Can anyone take a guess? Does anyone want to take a stab at this? What's the first thing that they have to do in order to compete? So just write it down in the chat window for a second, and I'd love to see if you got it. Patty says visual. All right, really close, Patty. And let's see what everybody else has to say. Uh, Ken says, wrong answer, find a better store. Not quite, Ken, but that's a good one. Gary says eye level. Emily says packaging. Lois says pay for positioning. Judy says benefit. Jen says eye level. Patty color. Peter brand identity. Carol branding. And Mark, you got it. Stand out. The very first step in the product reading sequence is simply to get noticed, to stand out. And you often do that through the visual cues your brand sends out. You know, these are cues like bold contrast, you know, really vivid color. There's a reason why all of those, you know, supermarket signs or all those fast food signs are yellow and red. And I'm not telling you to make your website yellow and red, by the way, but just saying. So they're the powerful words in the font, the shapes and the patterns, the really striking graphics, and those faces, really expressive faces that evoke emotion. This is where the real visual aspects of branding come into play. So I want you to think for a second about your website. Are you using stock photos or illustrations that everybody else is using that don't differentiate you? Are you using one of those free site builders to create your site and you've, you're kind of like forced into one of five themes and it doesn't give the impression that you want? Or do you, you know, God forbid, have those Vistaprint business cards that just feel really cheap and chintzy? You know, can you see how any one of these things or a million other things may be keeping you from getting noticed? Or have you get noticed in the wrong way, in a way that says, you know, this person's not taking their business seriously, so why should I take them seriously? So here's the thing. If you get noticed, people are willing to move on to the next step, step number two in the product reading sequence. They ask themselves, what is this? Where am I? And only then does your business name, your industry, your product, your service category come into play. And this step is all about being as crystal clear about what you do as possible. So it can get across in those first few seconds. And this might sound obvious, but it's not. How many times have you gone to someone's website or you heard someone say their elevator pitch and you had no idea what they were talking about? You had no idea what they did. 
And if people have ever asked you, I went to your site, but I wasn't crystal clear. I just didn't really know how you can help me. Then maybe you've got some of this going on too. Or if you've seen people glaze over or start to fidget when you're really telling them what you do, then you've probably got some issues in step number two here that we've got to work out, right? And it's not because there's something wrong with you. It's not because there's something wrong with your idea or your vision. And I don't want you to give up, you know? Because a lot of people do give up. They think it's, there's something wrong with their idea. The thing is, it's, you're only not expressing yourself clearly. You're not expressing what you do in a way that lands with your audience. And that's the critical distinction. What you do is not about you. It's about your audience and what you do for them. So think back for a moment to that big promise positioning exercise we did a moment ago. Your big promise dials right into what you do for your audience, right? And like I said, this is the critical distinction. You have to convey what you do in a way that really matters to your audience. Not just in a way that matters to you. Because when you incorporate your big promise into your headlines, into your taglines, your product names, it's like you breeze right past this step. And people quickly get what you do. And then you move on to the next step. So if people have noticed you, if they get what you do, and if it's something that they're interested in, they're going to move on to step three. And the very next thing that they're going to ask you is, why should I care? So, you know, humans are that simple. Grab my attention. Tell me what it is. Tell me why I should care. And we're also that busy and that distracted. You know, our brains process like two million bits of information a second. And only five to nine pieces of those information really rise to the surface, really hit our awareness, right? So not only do you have to be noticed, but you've also got to strike an emotional chord and actually make people care. So the best taglines, the best headlines and product names and promises hit all three steps of the product breeding sequence. They grab attention, they tell you what it is, and they tell you why you should care. So this is where your XYZ statement, your big promise positioning comes in. And a great way to really gauge the effectiveness of the stuff is to measure how many people are taking that next step. Out of all the people who are visiting your website, how many are signing up for your mailing list? How many are filling out your free consultation form? How many are actually liking and commenting on your blog posts? And if this isn't happening, if you aren't getting like 5 to 10% or more of the people who visit your site to take some kind of action, then you've got a leaky bucket somewhere. So let's move on now to step four of the product reading sequence. Now if and only if they're still interested, because you've gotten them to care, are they going to move on and ask, you know, tell me more about it? And it's at that point that they want the information, you know, all that supporting information, the fine print, the features, the benefits, the guarantee, the price. It's only at that point that they want all of that stuff. And if you've seen one of those long online sales letters where they don't get to like what's in the box until the very end of the sales letter, there's a reason for that. Because people don't care about what's in the box until you've made them care, until you've gone through those first three steps, right? And I'm sure you've also been to sites that skip the product reading sequence and go straight to step number four. They go straight for the sale and you're like, whoa, hold on a minute, you know? I'm not ready for this. And you're instantly turned off. And the reason why is that you can't do the sequence in reverse. You know, so many people, they start with this flood of information before they've even gotten noticed or let people know why they should care, and their business suffers because of it. You know, this is where Larry, our poor misunderstood website, you know, that's where he went wrong. He just thought he could start waving his arms and screaming and shouting what he wanted and people were going to pay attention, but nobody did. And he didn't realize what was wrong. He just thought, you know, some websites, they got all of the luck, right? Marisa, but, I just want to emphasize, you said you can't do this sequence in reverse. You mm -hmm. can't do the sequence in reverse. You have to do the sequence in this order. And most people are doing it the reverse. Like Marisa just said, you land on a page and they're trying to sell you. You don't know who they are. You don't know if you're in, your values are in sync. They're going straight for the product sale. And if you're, you're absolutely riveted to, to know, you know what that product is, maybe you don't pay any attention to all those other things and then you get it and you realize that it's not really what you wanted after all. And Absolutely. So, so important for you to say that again, you can't do the sequence in reverse. It's absolutely true because what happens is if you lead with features and benefits and somebody just wants to know why they should care, you come across as kind of out of touch. You come across as cold or indifferent, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to confuse them or lose them before they have a chance, you know, before you've got a chance to make that impression. But if you do get the sequence right, 
it's going to explode your business because you've leveraged the power of this sequence to get attention in a really real way, in a natural way, to tell people what you're about and why they should do business with you. And once you have the product rating sequence down, you can apply it to everything else you create. You know, you can apply it to those outer rings in your business universe, to your content, to your website, to your marketing. That's when you start to get the traffic and convert the traffic. But first, I want to look at how this plays out in one key area of your brand to really give you an example so you can start to apply this. You know, you know your brand is much more than your logo, but that logo and the business name and the tagline that goes along with it is the most visible representation of your brand. And it's also the touch point with the strongest associations. So what most people do here is they focus on creating a really cool symbol that they can stick on top of a masthead, you know, or on top of some business cards, right? And that's it. And like, I've got a brand, you know? And, you know, some of the hardcore people, they, like, put it on their coffee mug or on the side of the car, you know? Don't make, don't make me snort. <laughs> I kind of want to hear you snort, Susan. <laughs> But you know, your business name, your logo, your tagline, it's a lot deeper than a sticker or a decal, right? Yeah. One of the top 12 elements of branding is what I call extendability. And what that means is that you want to craft a brand identity in a way that can easily extend out to other products, to other contexts, to other materials, in a way that provides something of like an ongoing motif, an extended metaphor, if you will. So let me give you an example of how this works with the visual elements of your brand. So going back to Lori's coaching for ADHD site, you'll see that the gears are an element that we use over and over again on her site. You know, we use it throughout her product suite as well. So the gears provide us with this amazing recognizable graphic system that we can use over and over again, right? So while it's fabulous to have a great looking logo and to have that kind of brand concept that sits on top of your website, it's even more powerful when you start to think of the visual elements of your brand like a graphic system. You know, this is what allows you to create a whole set of materials that look and feel like your brand, that feel really unified, rather than this kind of disconnected series of one-offs where you've got to reinvent the wheel every single time. And this saves you a lot of time and a lot of money when you start to unroll new products, unroll new services. You know, if you can start to imagine, like, your Twitter page having the same theme and the same colors and the same elements as your Facebook page and your website, as your opt-in pages too, and all of your products, you'll start to, to not only you know, be recognizable, but you're gonna start to get known by your colors, fonts, and graphic system. Like people will get it and they'll say, okay, that's Marisa's thing, right? Or that's Susan's thing. They recognize you instantly. But it gets better than that because this kind of integration, it's like it automatically bestows on your brand a huge amount of credibility and authority, you know, because you all of a sudden look the part. You effortlessly go from bit player to A-lister because you're sending these powerful signals and powerful cues into the market that only the major players are sending. It's not hard. It's not necessarily expensive. You just have to tune into what your brand experience is all about, you know, how you're different, and how to represent that visually in a way that really resonates with your audience. I'm glad you brought that up because really in, um, in sound bites. It's everything you do say, are, and think needs to be in alignment before you go out to the media. And what happens is that most of the time, people's website is not in alignment and their systems are not set up. So when potential clients and customers and buyers arrive there, they're befuddled. Because if that doesn't match the vision and the um, all, all of those visuals don't match the feel of you when they see you on TV or hear you on radio or see you in print, then it creates a disconnect, and that's where you lose sales. So this is really important, what Marisa is saying, is that get known by your color sponsor graphics. You know, that's part of the look and feel of who you are and the products and services that you sell that needs to be consistent with whatever it is that your offer is, right? Absolutely, you know, and very few people achieve that level of integration. I mean, there are some people who've made it big and they don't have that, you know? Mm -hmm. But I'm able at this point to kind of approach major A-list partners, you know, and get them on my telesummits. I just got, you know, Andy Jenkins and Don Crowther and Jason Fladlin. I mean, they're all saying yes to me because everything that I send out looks and sounds the part. Mm -hmm. And when you've got all those ducks in a row, it doesn't matter what's actually going on in your business. People just perceive you in a certain light because very few people take the time and the care 
to get all this stuff together. And you look like a player when that happens. So now that we've covered the first three steps of my message to money system, what I'd like to do is take you back for a moment to where we started, you know, to your business universe. And this is all of the different places that people interact with you and your business. So you can think about each touch point kind of like a doorway that someone walks through to enter your business and enter your world. And this time around, we've got your business, your message, your brand, your positioning right smack dab in the center. The question is, where do we go from here? As we've seen, most people get really overwhelmed when they see this because they feel like they got to do it all at once. You know, they got to put up their website, they got to start blogging, they got to be on it with their email list to their newsletter, they got to go to network events, they got to form partnerships. And the challenge is with so many possible doorways and touch points, it's really easy to get distracted and overwhelmed by everything you think you got to do to grow your business and everything that you're being told to do. So most people dive right in and they start putting up all these doorways and they're like doorways to nowhere, you know, doorways like in the old Charlie Chaplin movies where he opens it up, he walks through and he falls through because there's nothing there, you know? When you go to a website and you sign up for someone's email list and you get like one email with a free gift and you don't hear from them ever again or you hear from them three months later. You know, and some of us, we do that. We put these things up because we think that we need to have them, but people are just following through. You know, they're on your Facebook page, but you haven't posted in months. So it's actually doing harm to your brand rather than helping you out. So what I'd like to do today for a moment is to really focus on a few doorways that matter. You know, the doorways that are actually going to move the needle for you and your business and to do those super well. And it's really true that there are a couple doorways that you got to have, you know, things like your offerings and your websites. This is essential to doing business. If you don't got that, you don't really have a business. But then once you've got those down, you can, you know, once you've got those down, and those are what I call like step four and step five of my four-step process, because you've got to have these down and you've got to have these down right, you know? So if you want that thriving business, you really got to have something to sell and a place to sell that stuff. And I wish I had the time to kind of lead you through all my processes around that today, but I don't. So what I want to really focus on today is to how to kind of integrate and connect all of this different stuff so that you know that once someone walks through a doorway, they're not going to fall. They're going to be really well taken care of and on their way to becoming a subscriber, a fan, a client. Because once you've got these down, once you've got your center in place, and once you've got your offerings and your website down, all you really need to do is pick two to three more things that you want to focus on. You know, two to three things like blogging, email marketing, social media, joint ventures, speaking, whatever it happens to be for you. Because once you've got those things in place, the center, your website, your offerings, these two to three things that you're doing on a weekly basis to really grow your tribe, that's the foundation of a six-figure business and beyond. So the question people always ask me is how do I not get overwhelmed and choose those two to three things that I want to be focused on first? And the very first thing is to choose something that you're good at, that you want to do, that you're excited about, you know? So if you want to choose a strategy and you hate doing it, you're just never going to do it. And a lot of people really try to pull something out of them that's not in there to begin with. So go with your natural strengths. Go with your natural preferences. And the other thing I want you to do is to go with what your audience wants. You know, what's actually going to support your business and support your audience? Where are they hanging out? What are their preferences? You know, if they really like Facebook, then be on Facebook or try to be on Facebook if you can. If they love video, start doing videos if you feel like you can. Because you're going to get a better response when this stuff aligns, right? And your job gets a lot easier because people are getting the information in the format that they want it and in the way that kind of aligns with your overall brand. You know, if you're a speaker, people want to see you. Do those videos, do those virtual events. So take a moment now to really think about what two to three areas that you want to focus on in the next 12 months. Because like I said, if you do these four to five things, your website, your offerings, plus those two to three extra things in the way that I've shown you, when you're clearly, confidently positioning yourself in the market, then over the next 12 months, I know that you're going to have more clarity on your unique message. You know, You're going to be able to confidently and authentically share it in a way that inspires your audience to say yes to, do, to you. You know, you're definitely going to have more impact in the world by opening the floodgates to a passionate, loyal, and engaged tribe. You're going to have more income through all of your products, through your programs, through your, you know, whatever you put out into the world. 
and you're going to find freedom through creating that authentic business that allows you to live in your genius zone, but to do it in your own terms and still make a big difference. Like I said, using this model starting from 2011, I was able to triple my income the following year, and I'm on track to do this again the same you know, this year. And that's what I want for you too. So what I'd like to do right now is to check in with you guys and ask, how did you like these exercises that we covered today? So what's your $2 million book deal look like? Your XYZ statement, your big promise positioning, brand extendability, and your business universe. And what did you think of the six-step plan to gain clarity, income, and freedom in the next 12 months? Did anyone have some insights they want to share? Any great ideas? You know, are you excited about the possibility? Let me know in the question box um, what you thought of this. And I'd love to see. So we've got a lot of people saying, very interesting, sounds real, says Gary. Very insightful, says Joe. Exercises were helpful, says William. Um, you know, so a lot of you, it looks like you really got a lot of value out of this today, which is great. It's really important for me because I promised at the start of this call that I was going to show you how to get clarity on your message, show you how to use it to generate more income through products, through services, and the roadmap to claiming the freedom that you deserve. So I'm super glad that I delivered on my promise because it sounds like a lot of you are saying that you've gotten some big insights, you've gotten some big breakthroughs. So it's important for me to keep my word, to keep my promise. And I guess now the real question for you is, are you ready to get started? You know, are you ready to end the confusion, end the frustration, and to take action to create the kind of clarity, income, and freedom in your business that we've been talking about? Are you ready to do that? Well, the answer usually is, it depends. And the reason why it depends is that when it comes to your business universe, especially when it comes to the center of your universe, it's really easy to get stuck. Get stuck because it's hard to see yourself like your audience sees you. Get stuck because you're too close or too in love with what you do to really see yourself objectively and to make the right choices moving forward. Stuck because something doesn't feel right, but you're not sure what it is. So you've got to be strategic and you've got to take the right actions at the right times and choose the right words and really understand which signals to put out into the world. So I couldn't lead you through the full process in an hour you know, kind of teach you all of the intricacies of really nailing your message, your brand, and your positioning. There are just too many details and not enough time. And there are still details that you need to figure out, you know, things like the 18 other approaches for crafting your message that really aligns with your values and resonates with your audience. The tricks to branding yourself relative to everyone else in your field so you can really stand out and position yourself as a market leader. The obvious stuff. And how to perfectly weave your positioning through your web presence through your marketing, so people start to know, like, and trust you at a deep, almost unconscious level. As we already know, getting your message and your brand, like pitch perfect, is both a science and an art. It's a magic combination, right, of left brain, right brain, and it takes some real expertise to get right. Working with me privately like this costs tens of thousands of dollars, and my clients have been thrilled with the results. But I can only help so many people one-on-one, -on -one, and I want to help lots of people. So I've created a training program that teaches many of the same strategies and leads you through much the same process, but does so affordably. And I'd like to invite you to join me in Message to Money. So what I want to do right now is I want to take about five to seven minutes and tell you what's inside this training. Then I want to go to Q&A and answer all your questions, any questions that you have. So here's what you're going to receive when you join us in Message to Money. You're going to get a six-module training program delivered weekly starting April 17th. Each module contains one to two hours of video trainings by me personally, along with downloadable audio, transcripts, and worksheets to help you start applying the training right away in your business. Along with each of the six sessions, there's a live Q&A call and a coaching and training call with me where you'll be able to ask me all the questions you have about how to implement this in your business. So you'll have one week to learn and one week to implement before we move on to the next module. So I really commit to giving you a lot of time and support in this program because I know when it comes to your message, your brand, your positioning, the very core of your business, it's not always something that you can just paint by numbers with. And while I do have all of these messaging templates that really help my students get clear fast, it's also the conversation, the dialogue, the back and forth, the community that sparks the biggest breakthroughs allowing you to connect the dots and really see the vision that was hiding there all along. 
Now let's talk about what we actually cover in these six modules. We actually go in depth on all six steps in the system I shared with you today. In module one, we're going to start with discovering what your roadmap to freedom looks like and what your $2 million book deal looks like. We'll work out the exact steps you need to reach your highest goals. And I'm going to take you by the hand and literally show you the path to success. Then in module two, we're going to dive into the nuts and bolts of your big message for the world, why you do what you do and who you serve. You'll get my entire collection of 20 powerful exercises and templates to create a compelling, crystal clear message that's going to inspire people to do business with you, plus my personal guidance as you craft that pitch perfect message. Then in module three, you'll discover why your brand could be turning off the very people that you want to be turning on. And I'll show you how to fix it fast using things like the 12 elements of powerful branding, things like brand extendability to help you create a platform worthy of you, you know, a platform that's going to allow you to make that huge impact on the world. In module four, you'll learn how to create the content and product funnel that's going to turn a trickle of product and program sales into a flood and really create that healthy income. You'll find out how to effortlessly package your knowledge and move your customers and clients up through your offerings without being hypey, without being salesy, without being sleazy in any way. In module five, you'll discover my best practice tips to build a new website or tweak an existing website to really skyrocket your results. You'll learn all the ways the product reading sequence can help you stand out and get immediate massive attention. And I'm going to show you how to structure each page of your website around the action you want people to take. So you're converting visitors into subscribers, followers, and buyers on every single page. Then in module six, you'll learn exactly how to open the floodgates through blogging, social media, email marketing, partnering, and more so that your tribe finds you. So as I mentioned already, you're also going to receive access to seven live support calls over the entire training period. So you always have the opportunity to ask me any questions that crop up as you watch and implement the trainings. You know, in the live coaching call, we're going to have a lot of Q and A and a lot of hot seats where I'll review the work you've done, answer your questions and make sure you're on track. I always stay on the call until every single question you have is answered. So you're guaranteed that one on one time if you show up to the calls or if you send us your questions in advance. So these calls alone are worth your entire investment. And naturally, we've got some amazing bonuses for you, too, because I really want to give you as much support and value as we possibly can. You're also going to receive Hidden Story Power. It's our crash course valued at $197 and how to find and tell your personal story in a way that's going to transform your business. You're going to get Walking in Your Client's Shoes, my bonus training, which shows you how to fine tune your marketing messages so it speaks directly to your ideal client soul. And you'll get complimentary access to the private Facebook group only for message to money students and alumni valued at $50 a month. It's like you've got 24 seven access to me and all the other students to get that instant feedback on your toughest branding and business challenges. And speaking of the other students, my favorite bonus, I'm so confident of the progress you're going to make and the results that you'll achieve in your business between now and October that I'm going to give you two complimentary tickets valued at $1,000 to Message to Money Live in Los Angeles, where we're going to dedicate a weekend to focusing on your business and celebrating your success. So the content is going to be delivered to you in a very carefully structured 14 week training roadmap. So you never get overwhelmed. You never feel like you're struggling to keep up and you'll have lifetime access to all the materials, including all the updates and the Facebook group. So you're never going to feel like you're doing it alone. And you'll also be able to go at your own pace, whether that's getting started quickly or taking a full year to build what you want to build. So we've got students who've gotten so much out of the program that they've gone through this two or three times. Now I want to tell you about the guarantee I have for you in this program. So I've decided to really take all of the risk here to inspire you to try this out. So most programs give a 30 day guarantee, but that's barely enough time to, st to get started. Some programs may give you a 60 day guarantee, but that's not enough time to really start seeing results. So I've decided to go all out and offer a full guarantee for the entire training, wow. the entire 14 weeks. Yeah. Wow. That's really amazing. <laughs> That's very you. brave and very amazing, and it really speaks to how much confidence you have because so many people have already had such great results. 
yeah, absolutely. We don't get a lot of refunds. We can hardly get any. So you can join my Message to Money program and go through the entire 14-week program. You can benefit from every single one of the training modules and all of the group coaching calls with me. You can take advantage of that hot seat time. And only after all of that do I want you to look back and tell me if it was worth your investment in time and your investment in money. Because if you're not super excited about all the possibilities, then I insist that you contact me for a full refund without any hoops to jump through. So it's hard to believe with all that value that this program does not cost tens of thousands of dollars, like working with me privately. You know, it doesn't cost that magic 1997, 1497, or 997 number either. You can get started with me for just $197 today, plus three additional monthly payments of $197. And those start a month from now. So in total, that's just four payments of $197, and that's it. You're done. Or if you prefer, you can invest with a single payment of $6.97. So we keep the investment this low because we want to make this training accessible to everyone who needs it. And I hope you can see that we guarantee the results, we keep the investment low, so as long as you come to the live calls, as long as you ask questions and do the work in the program, there's no way to lose money. And if you don't believe I delivered what I promised, you get your money back and you know we part friends. So the only way not to get results is if you sign up and you don't do the work. So on that note, if everything I've described sounds good to you, and only if everything I've described sounds good, you can go to liveyourmessage.com slash M to M. That's liveyourmessage.com slash M to M. And we've typed the link into the chat box right now. So if someone can click on it and let me know it's working properly, that would be great. So it looks like it is live. If you go to liveyourmessage.com slash m to m close to the top of the page, there's a big orange add to cart button. Just click on that button, and I'd absolutely love to work with you. So I'm not going to do this whole scarcity thing. You know, I'm not going to tell you you can only buy it today, and if you don't buy it, you're never going to get it again, and your life's going to be miserable because I don't really do that kind of thing. So I want to share with you what one of my students has to say. So Gina Hyatt wrote in to tell me, because of your training, I was able to attract a sponsorship opportunity that put me in front of 700 people that got me 500 people on my mailing list and maybe $20,000. And here's what Anna Graham Hunter, the job happiness coach, said. I tell everyone how amazing this program is. Others were practical. Yours was transformational. By far the best investment I've made. Jam-packed with incredibly valuable information and soul-searching exercises. The feedback-rich community of the private Facebook group and Marisa's one-on-one -on -one attention during the coaching calls provides everything you promised. I was overwhelmed at everything I needed to do. Thanks to Message to Money, I now have a crystal clear idea of where I'm going with my business, and most importantly, I'm doing it. So I want to hear the same sorts of things coming from you. So if this training is right for you, I'd love to work with you. Go to liveyourmessage.com slash m to m and sign up right now. And if you sign up while we're on the call, you're going to get that extra 45-minute one-on-one kind of brand and message session with me. Thank so let's go on to Q&A. Yeah, that's, sure. uh, that's, and a couple questions about the program. Um, William is asking, um, can he pay via P PayPal? And another person's asking, um, when are the live calls? And I know yeah. they're all recorded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we don't have it set up automatically to pay by PayPal, but if you contact Deb and she's on the call here, she can get you sorted, and if you, um, you know, work with her right after the call, you'll still be able to get that bait, that bonus with her, with me. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the live calls, we do them on Wednesday evenings at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. It's every other Wednesday, starting at on Wednesday, the 17th of April. So and people can submit their questions if they don't, if they're not there. I imagine. Yeah. So you'll absolutely. answer them, and then they can listen to them on the replay, so they don't have to attend every time if they can't. Exactly. So I've got people who are attending from Europe, and it ends up being at like 2 or 3 in the morning in Europe. So they sure. just email me their questions ahead of time, and I answer the written questions at the end of the call. So people mm -hmm. know to kind of just go towards the end of the call, and you'll find oh, them there. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, there's another question from Paula asking, are there any tech requirements or vendors that anybody has to sign up for to, to you know, after they've worked for your program? 
No, absolutely. This isn't one of those programs where I force you into making some technology decisions about your business or going through me. Um, I will share with you the best technology platforms to use. You know, I do this every day for my clients. I build web platforms. But I'll tell you based on what's right for your business right now. So, you know, a lot of people say, okay, you've got to go and for the big daddy e-commerce solutions like Infusionsoft or Office Autopilot, but that might not be right for you based on where you're at at your business. So I'm going to tell you a lot of the different technologies and you can choose what's going to work with you for you now and you can also come to the call and ask for clarification. But there's no requirement. Of course, you know, I want you to have a website so you're going to need some kind of hosting, you know, the basics. But no requirements outside of that. That's great. Okay, great. Um, now I know, is um, Deb going to ask you the questions that people have been posting? I've been collecting some of them too. I know sure, either that, way. Yeah. You can ask me some, and Deb's got some too that she's been collecting as well. So um, if you've got some that you're ready to ask, I'm happy to answer them, and then Deb can come in with the other ones that she's been tracking too. I okay. love it. Susan is on the ball. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, if you want to go ahead with yours, I know you've been taking notes the whole time too. That's fine. I, I, I copied down a few of them as well, but I knew that you were going to do it. So. Yeah, well, I don't know if you have ones that you want to cover since I know that this is your community and I'll see if it compares with what I've got. We'll make sure we take care of everybody today. Yeah, well, um, I, what I, I just want to reiterate one thing that Marisa said because I think it was a really important is that you need something to sell and a place to sell that stuff. And to start with your strengths and go with what your audience wants. Because Marisa was talking about you know, overwhelm and not knowing where to start. And one of the things that I really liked about her program was it was so organized and so step by step and that you could do it at your own pace and you could do it in your own time and you could do what, you know, your strengths first. And I think that's really important because all of you on this call were saying, pretty much all of you were saying you needed what she had in one, shape, one way, shape or form, whether it was you had a website, you were the Larry or the Steve, and most of you were the Larrys, or some of you were the, the Steve, Steve was the hottie man, right, Steve. Um, some of you were Steve, but you only had partial Steve. I did not see anybody on this call that had all of Steve. So whatever portion of this training you need, you need the whole thing in order to, um, you know, create the kind of brand that really speaks to representing you, you out in the world, and then driving the kind of customers, clients, and sales to you that are the right people for you, that you have the right offer for. And then that's your, you know, your center spoke is your message, and everything that goes out from your message is all of those other things that Marisa covered that will then be in sync with your core message. And then once you start doing all of those other things, that's how you're attracting in the tribe and converting them into paying clients or, or paying customers. Is that, did I sum that up? Um, that, that's exactly it. You know, I, I want you to actually use this program in a way that's customized to your business. So the very first module is your roadmap to freedom rather than messaging. So you can understand and identify what those goals are and we can reverse engineer the rest. So when you choose those touch points, you're choosing the ones that are best for you, not just in general, but now, because those touch points change. You know, once you've got that, say, core website down in the way that I show you to do, you can move on to, say, social media, you know? And that's another point that I wanted to make is about the reverse engineering, is that you start with that big dream, that big big goal and what you want, and then you, then you take the practical steps to make that work, uh, you know, on the earth plane, right, you know, yes. and, and, you know, we know that Brenda Burchard, you know, you know, did that in a, in a very big way, and he's an amazing person, and most of us are not Brenda Burchard, so whether our dream is not a $2 million book, but, you know, it's a, just getting a book out there, and, you know, maybe reaching 10,000 people, whatever your dream is, I mean, that's the really important thing is to, to start with it, and then to reverse engineer from, from that, and then, then everything else, it's like the spoke sure. go into the core of the wheel, right? Absolutely, and I want to speak to that in a moment, but I first want Deb to introduce all yes, the people please. who've joined our community, and welcome okay. them. Okay, please, please, please. Yeah, yes, I've got, I've got Hannah, Duncan, Carl, Gwendolyn, and Leslie. 
Awesome. Nice. nice. Awesome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I can't wait to work with all of you and can't wait for our one-on-one -on -one time as well where I get to know your businesses more. And quickly, before we go on to all the other questions, I wanted to address what you just said, Susan, mm -hmm. because I know that um, you know a lot of people learn from people who are like Brendan Burchard, and they're awesome, and he's my coach and my mentor, and I've learned huge yeah. amounts from him. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times the strategies you get are something that's working for him. And mm -hmm. what works for him doesn't work for the vast majority of entrepreneurs and business owners who maybe have, you know, two or three thousand people on their email list, if that, and you know, who are making fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or a hundred fifty thousand dollars. So when you start to have big friends in high places who can promote you to hundreds of thousands of people, you can have those, you know, six figure, seven figure launches. Sure. But when you're getting started, you know, you can't. So if you learn a tactic that's really designed for someone who's like ten steps ahead of you, it's a great tactic, but it's not going to help you right now. And so the way that I've created this program is in the way that I've designed it around kind of this three-second rule in your brand universe is to help you get clear based on where you are now and ultimately that big picture goal, but to step into it so you're sequencing things in the right way because that's when success happens. It's mm -hmm. not by leaping right into the $2 million book deal because there's that's no right. $2 million book deal if you try to do that. You know? No, no, no. So Susan says, so we've got some people who want to jump right in, right? So they want to, and, and I'm not sure, uh, I'll be curious as to your answer to this. What if I want to get my website up much quicker? Can you recommend web people and designers? So, yeah, absolutely. Once we get into module um, three and of the program three and five. Three is really about you know your brand, and five is really about building your website so people actually buy. I make those kinds of recommendations of people that I vetted that you know I can support you. So whether you want to do it yourself, you want to use some WordPress themes that you know work, or whether you want to hire a team, I can definitely help you in figuring out the right choice based on you know how much in money you've got to invest and where you are in your business. So That's absolutely. Great. And I think Mark's question is along the same lines. Are you willing to share the best do-it-yourself website building software programs for people with nearly no money? Yeah, so I recommend, uh, you know, for sure that everybody uses WordPress. And you can mm -hmm. buy some really good themes for $100 or $200 if you're willing to learn some things. So, you know, uh, the focus of this program isn't on technology. It's on the strategy. But we do this every day, and we build this for people every day like you guys. So we are going to give you the technology recommendation, but we're trying to build this course in a way that you're learning kind of evergreen tools that you can use for every single business or product that you roll out in the future, not just what's going to work today. So we do a balance of the two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. I also uh, have some new people I wanted to welcome to the group. Oh, so yeah, got, please. Yeah, we've got Mark, Beata, William, Taryn, and Julie. Awesome. Welcome, guys. I can't wait to, to work with all of you. Good, I'm great. really excited. And to build uh, on the question you were just going over about Word, uh, WordPress, Mar uh, Marisa, Sonia yes. was on the call with us, and she's from South Africa, and she says, great content. Thank you. I have a quick question about the PDF um, that you offered for signing up with the webinar. You mentioned to get WordPress. Uh, what is your view on Weebly versus WordPress? Sure. So Weebly is a platform that's great for um, a starter website. If you're just beginning and you're kind of testing the waters to see if your niche is really working, you can kind of build that yourself in a couple of hours. You know, I, I had a friend who did a course called the Four Hour Website where she used Weebly and got people going in four hours. But as you start to expand your brand and really offer a lot more products and do things like, you know. Um, segment your list and kind of do some of the bigger things. A lot of times the technology needs grow with that. So WordPress is a platform that you can start small and you can go really big. So I like to kind of have you start building in a platform that's actually going to encompass your growth to build something that's what I call future proof, not just something that's mm -hmm. going to work today. And WordPress does that where it's very simple, very manageable, very easy to use, but it can continue to scale with you. Now, Beata wants to know if she can stay with Rapid Weaver. So she's got a website. So yeah. what happens with people already have websites? Absolutely. You can definitely stay with what you've already got. I've built a website on Rapid Weaver, you know, many, many years ago, and it's very easy to update and change. So what you're going to realize through this pro program is how to structure and fine-tune every page of your site. So whether that's kind of refining what you currently have on those pages and kind of adding and adapting your current site or whether it's starting over or whether it's creating your first site 
it doesn't really matter. The, the idea is to apply these principles. So you kind of understand the call to action. You understand the hierarchy of the page where you're actually guiding someone's attention and directing them on what you want them to focus on so they take that action. And mm -hmm. I really want you to understand kind of the flow of someone through your site. So those principles apply what, regardless of what platform you're on. Yeah, so and, you're really yeah. saying like there are people who have more mature websites and what you want to do is look at those websites and see what's working and what's not and work within that framework and maybe recommend other technology that might be helpful to them as well as, I mean, obviously most strategies first and then the technologies to support that if they're not being supported properly. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Exactly. And, you know, to look at your business now, but also to be realistic. You know, if you're on a shoestring budget and you can't afford certain platforms now, then wait, you know, mm -hmm. and focus on your message and integrate that into what you got. And mm -hmm. if you're ready for kind of a bigger makeover and you want to start over, then great. Mm -hmm. But any approach, you know, having that clarity down is going to make a huge impact in everything that you do. Now, Beata has another question, too. She's worked with Verinda Norman. That's list building. Jesse Corrin, Charlotte Jacobs. I don't know who those people are. But what she's asking is how might this build on the courses that she's already taking. And I'm sure that there are lots of people on the call who are taking other courses, too, that may fill in a piece of that. But um, that so she's saying, how might this build on what they do or be an extra edge? So maybe sure. you can speak to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So one thing that I know that I do that a lot of people don't do is I take a very holistic perspective, because you know we've been building brands and web platforms every day. We know how to do that, but we know how to do it not just in a single platform, but how to do it across like a universe of possibilities. So I know with Brenda, she helps you get really the words down, and she helps you do product launches. You know, I know with Sharla, um, she helps you really kind of find your niche and build stuff around your niche. I think what we do is we tie together the pieces and do it in a really holistic way. So even if you're not ready to do, say, like, um, you know, some of the strategies like hold webinars and virtual events, we're giving you some information around it. And I'm also giving you kind of on the ground what's working today insights based on the clients that I'm kind of building their platforms on and what's working for them. And these are kind of real entrepreneurs. And so because we are both, um, we're trainers, but we're also implementers. We've got a whole suite of done for you products and solutions, right? Mm -hmm. And we're offering them to people and we're doing them every single day. So I think that gives us an insight that a lot of people who become trainers, it's like an academic, right? They know the theory of what you're supposed to do and the theory can work, but sometimes it's that extra edge of seeing how it works in so many different people's business and understanding kind of the trends of where the market's going and where these different things are shifting that kind of helps a lot. And I don't know many people who kind of tie together all the different pieces from your message into the kind of visuals of your brand into the actual kind of words and then the content that you're creating and then also the actual web presence page by page and the marketing. So it's one of those things where it's a complete pathway. Mm -hmm. So. And I love what you're saying, too. See, we're, we're talking about page by page, you know, the action steps per page and how you're, you're working with your ideal audience per page, which is really, really important. Um, you know, so it's your overall website from start to finish, from beginning to end, how you're moving people through the, the, the website and, and directing them for their particular interests. And that's page by page. And the other here, thing that I hear you saying is that um, you're really talking about you have recommendations for technology, recommendations, first first messaging is first, and then to support that, you're going to recommend any kind of package or technology that's going to be most efficient while working with what people have and what they can afford. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's exactly it. And I know there's actually a bunch more questions, too. So There I are. I see, you know, Mark's <laughs> asking sure about squeeze them. pages. Are you going to cover squeeze, squeeze pages? I'm just trying to scroll through them as fast as they're, they're coming in like, like wildfire. Yeah, absolutely. So what I do is I actually talk about all the main types of websites in this world, from about pages to squeeze pages to sales pages, and show you a lot of the best practices for each kind of page. So, you know, if you're doing a speaking page, this is what you need to have, you know? You, you mm -hmm. get it, so you know kind of page by page what to do. So yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to scan through um, some other things. Uh, let's see. Hey, Susan. Yes. 
I was going to jump in with some of those questions Please. from Peter because he's been chatting with me throughout the webinar. Oh, okay, great, great, great. <laughs> yes, I see Peter's been very active. Yes, Peter Please, is go ahead. super excited and can't wait to work with us. Um, so he had some questions for you, Marisa, um, one of which was, uh, what if we're still new and we're getting consistent results but not to the right scale? Well, that's a, that's a great place to be because um, that means you're new, you've got some clarity around what you do and you're starting to see results from, but you need that kind of supercharge, that rocket. So what we do in terms of focusing in on the center of your universe and then pushing it back out through everything else, you know, through that content, through that website, through that marketing is probably what you need to get to that next level. And being new means you haven't made all of the mistakes and you haven't spent the two years spinning around that I spent. So it's a great, great time to do this program. And I'd love to work with you. Perfect. And Peter was saying if you could go over the guaranteed results again. Yeah, so the guaranteed results is essentially that you get to um, try out the entire program. You know, a lot of people they actually selectively deliver content till after the refund period. <laughs> so, you know, they get all the refunders out. But I think the last time I had 100 students and I had two people refund, which is out of this world in this industry. So what I just do is I just give you the entire course. I mean, I, it does kind of um, unroll like week by week, but you can actually try the entire course out, go through the entire program, and if at the end I haven't exceeded your expectations, um, you haven't gotten a huge amount out of it, then ask for your money back. And I don't make you jump through any hoops. I don't say you've got to have done worksheets or showed up for calls. I just say, okay, you know, if you haven't gotten the results, I stand by my product and I'm going to give you the money back. And the other thing that I offer is that you can repeat the course. So, um, you know, if for whatever reason you're not able to get up and running as quickly as you like or life blindsides you or you just want to take your time or you want to go more deeply into the exercises, you're able to go through the course again and actually go to the live calls again the next time around. So I really want you to have that experience. And I've got people who actually in the second or third iteration of the course because in the first iteration they realized they're in the wrong business. And the second iteration was all about figuring out what to do in the new business, you know? And then the third iteration was like, now let me use this process on a product that I want to release. So it's really there for you. And I give you, you know, the entire time to decide and make sure, you know what, this is something that I can use right now. Right. Wonderful. I wanted to welcome Mitzi to the group as well. Welcome, Mitzi. Welcome, Mitzi. Um, I'm going to turn the questions over to you, Deb, because I think we've covered <clears throat> most of them. And then there were, there were a number earlier in the course just asking about some things that Marie Yes, I captured those. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> well, thank you for your help, Susan. You were spot on with all of that. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, so Kent actually had a question that was during the product reading sequence portion of the webinar, and he sure said, thing. is there any um, applicability of this to the male-oriented B2B? Targets can be a decision maker surrounded by influencers, etc. Probably not as receptive to a personalized message of, in quotes, I was in the gutter and rose up, you can too. Yeah, so that, that's different. That's basically called a story, right? Um, that particular message is a story-based message. I've actually got 20 different message templates. One of them is called the guru. <laughs> and the guru is, all, is something that the male audiences love and audiences whose value system is based more on kind of like fame and power and money. So mm -hmm. based on the 20 messaging kind of templates, the right one depends on your values and the values of your audience. So you're right, that story-based approach won't necessarily work for that audience. So that doesn't mean you can't tell a story, you're just going to tell a different kind of story that models a different kind of pathway and journey for them. That's okay. great. I mean, really what, I mean, just to expand on that, I mean, what Marisa is talking about is creating the story that's right for you and right for your audience. And she was giving just examples of that. And so you have like templated stories that, 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 are, that people can follow and personalize to their particular audience. Because no, we, and a lot of us don't respond to the, you know, I was in the gutter. I, was, I, I rail against that in my, in my webinar too. Have we heard, how, can we not hear that story again? that, you know, that I was, I was living under the bridge and now I'm a millionaire. If, if I don't ever hear that story again, I will not be sorry. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there are a lot of different ways to work your message. And that's why I'm trying to say it's not a one size fits all template. You know, I gave you probably the simplest exercise today with the XYZ statement, the one that's applicable to the most amount of people, because the other ones go 
really are about a match to your values, a match to your audience, things like that. So it gets kind of more um, kind of targeted as we go into the teachings and the trainings. And you know, I, I like that you're asking that question because it, it's showing that you're very sensitive already to what your audience is responding to. Mm -hmm. And that's the absolute right approach. That's great. That's that's um, that's great. Deb, Perfect. I'm going to keep keep going, let let you go continue to go on. Perfect. Um, I have a question from Jen, and it was during exercise number four about brand extendability. And uh, mm -hmm. Jen's question is, what are the ratios we should be shooting for? For instance, I convert 11% of visits to members and 11% of members to purchasers, so I'm only really converting approximately 1% of browsers to buyers. Mm. That's actually pretty good, you know. Um, so I can get, depending on the page, you know, the page that you guys signed up for the, um, like to be on this webinar, converted 51%, but that's a specific kind of page. It's a page designed to convert, you know, with only the job to convert. When you're talking about a core website, um, I'd have to know where those numbers are coming from, if it's your website as a whole or specifically your home page. You know, 11% um, uh, conversion of visitors into members and subscribers is not bad at all. I've been built sites that have converted up to 20% on a home page, so there is room for improvement. And converting 11% of your subscribers into sales is actually pretty good, but I, I need to know kind of more about your entire funnel, like all the different products and services that you have to offer and what the kind of dollar amount attached to those conversions are to kind of look at how we can optimize that to actually improve. Because of course sometimes a 2% increase going from 11% to say 13 or 14% can mean thousands of dollars for your bottom line. So I have to, um, to find out kind of more before I can give you a, a good answer. But you're not doing bad at all. So you're actually doing better than most people. Uh, we had a couple more uh, additional bits of information that Jen posted. She said website as a whole, including gateway pages. Um, so what's the question? Uh, let me go back to her exact question. So what are the ratios we should be shooting for? And this was when she was talking, you were talking in uh, brand extendability. Okay. Um, so the brand extendability is a little bit of a different concept than the conversions on your website. Um, brand extendability is more about that recognition across everything that you're doing and the consistency that people know what to expect and can start to trust you. And of course, that kind of brand extendability can increase conversions because if you've developed a relationship with people and then they go to a new sales page that's resonant with your overall brand, they get that it's yours, they get that it's coming from you, and that's bestowing a level of trust. So it's not a cold lead, it's a warm lead. But um, in terms of what to shoot for in terms of conversion, there really isn't any hard and fast numbers because it kind of depends on what industry you're in. It depends on you know a lot of different factors. So there are ranges. Like I'd say you want to be converting at least, you know, 10% of your traffic into some kind of subscriber. And that's awesome on your homepage. You can start to set what's called internal benchmarks and gateways. It's not good to kind of gauge yourself against somebody else because you know what works in your business. Like you might be in a niche that's kind of polarizing where you've got 90% of the people bouncing off your website because um, it's not for the mass majority of people who come. But that 10% who stay convert at a super high number. So I don't want to give you numbers and say shoot for this. Uh, it really depends on your specific scenario and kind of your internal metrics and what trends you've observed and what you can kind of um, new goals that you can set based on you know your audience and how they react and figuring out what to do more of and what to do less of based on those behaviors and those actions and those numbers. I think you covered it. Jen said thanks. <laughs> sure. A lot of people give you those blanket numbers, but I don't believe in them because I think they can really lead you astray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Let's see here. Um, I wanted to quickly welcome Mercedes as well. Welcome, oh. Mercedes. Welcome, Mercedes. Mercedes had some questions throughout and uh, really enjoyed what you had to share, so we're happy to have her join us. That's great. That's yeah, great. absolutely. She says thanks. Any other last questions before we start to wrap up? 
Uh, let me take a quick peek here. I think we covered the bulk of the earlier question. And I see that somebody is asking about the picture here. <laughs> they want to know whether that's a blue Yeti microphone. And yes, yes. it is. It's a, it is a blue Yeti microphone. It's the same microphone I'm using today, but now I'm in New Orleans instead of Chiang Mai, Thailand. And my laptop is on top of a stool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a stool? Oh, that's so yeah. funny. I'm kind uh -huh. of hardcore about ergonomics, so I create like a mobile workstation wherever I go, and I'm often on top of milk crates, and you can't see it, but below my chair is four bricks to raise my chair, because I'm a shorty, I'm four foot eleven and a quarter. I've got four bricks to raise my chair up to the right level, so my arms are in the position for good ergonomics. So someone asked about what was on top of the table, too. <laughs> yes, they're paying close attention to your setup there. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see, it looks like Mercedes has a question, and we're just waiting for her to send it over to us. Okay, great. Okay, great. And I see well, Peter has a lot of questions, too. Have we answered all of them? I believe so. One of the things that we haven't covered yet is that Peter um, is looking to know if you cover any ways to find, like, media attention or national attention when you're going through your um, message to money program. I go into it briefly, more in the sense of here are some hooks you can use for the media, but that's really Susan. You know, Susan is the master at doing that. That's um, my soundbite course, Peter. It teaches you how to pitch the media and then what to say when you're booked and to get the kind of results you want, the kind of things that Marisa is talking about in terms of attracting the kind of um, clients, customers, sales, partnerships, and opportunities, both personally and professionally to you. So that would be my soundbite course. Yeah, so that, that here's the thing, that you don't want to do any media until you've got the, your website set up properly. So you know that you're getting the right kind of people to the website and that once they arrive there, they have the right impression of you. That's what Maurice is working on, that they have the right impression of you, that they know what to do once they're on your website, and that you're directing them appropriately, everything from the opt-ins to your offer, to how you move them through the, the different offerings that you have so they can easily see where they fit in with what you have to offer. And that's really, I do not recommend that you go out and do media until all of your systems are in place because otherwise it's a waste of time. And it's a, Absolutely. And it's a waste of, yeah. So, there's so, so many Marisa examples of people, first. go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. There's so, so many examples of people getting on Oprah and then, you know, being bankrupt because they got on Oprah, they got like millions of people to their site, and then they didn't have the systems in place to convert those people to sell them in anything or even something else to sell. And so I've seen this so many times, you know. That's right. And I think it's really important that you have that in place, like you said, because getting media is a big commitment as well. It's a big commitment. And I've worked with a lot of those people who've gotten on Oprah, too. And what we were scrambling to do before they got on the show was to get their website and their offerings in an order and the 800 numbers, everything set up so they could capitalize on that experience. And you'd be surprised, even at that level, how many people were not ready for that, were not ready for that, and that we were scrambling to make sure that, that their websites and that their back-end systems could handle it and, and it would be properly handled. So you're right, you don't want to be, you're, that's the worst case, best case scenario, you don't want to be bankrupted by Oprah from your success. Right, absolutely. Right, right, you know, so, I, so it's so important to do what Marisa is telling you on the back-end first and then after that's all set, that's when you start doing publicity so your publicity has the kind of results that you that you want and that you can support. Perfect. Absolutely. Yeah. I also have Mercedes question if I could ask that here. Um, Mercedes says that I paid a designer to build a website for me in WordPress that I love and then I learned about SEO and when I started checking about SEO I was told it would take a lot more money than I had to update the SEO on my site and that I would need a new site. I question this and I'm reluctant to ditch my site because I really like it and I've spent a lot of money on creating it. What do you suggest? Um, that doesn't sound like very accurate information that you've been told. I mean, there are definitely plugins that you can use to um, add SEO into your website fairly easily when it comes to, there are certain elements of SEO that really matter for a small business owner or entrepreneur that move the needle. And those tend to be your URLs and your title tags. And um, a lot of other areas don't matter as much. Things like, you know, keywords, you know, 
um, that are used in the meta descriptions of your site, kind of that strategy faded several years ago. So you can add a free plugin like All-in-One SEO Path to you know, really customize those um, title tags to create descriptions that people will find on Google. There are certain things about the structure of your website in terms of where different posts and things are filed and how they relate to each other, but um, most websites in the way that WordPress are built actually do that automatically. So, uh, and with SEO, honestly, the vast majority of your traffic isn't going to come through SEO unless you're in kind of like a heavy visibility business and you're able to produce like three to five original blogs um, a week or get a lot of guest bloggers on your site. The SEO part of your business is one of the least important and it's a game that a lot of people play to try to get to the top of Google. And there are some strategies to make sure that every blog post you write really packs a punch, but it's unpredictable of whether you're going to get to the top and Google changes its algorithms like every few months. So it's not a game that I really recommend you focus on or spin with. There are much more effective ways to reach lots of people fast. And then those aren't cold leads like SEO. They're not people just finding you on Google and coming. They're warm leads or people who actually want what you have to have to offer because you've been referred or recommended. So uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Keep your beautiful website and we'll focus on other things that I think are going to get you a bigger impact. Okay, perfect. Let's see here. Uh, Beata asked a new question saying, do you provide any guidance about using tags and SEO um, given what you just said? I do, absolutely. So I also show you my trick for how some of my blog posts actually attract, say, several thousand people a month just from how I named my blog post. So that's definitely something that I go into and I show you my tools and I actually show you exactly the searches that I did to name my blog posts and kind of the consideration and the process that I put into every post because if you're only writing one you know, one or two blog posts a week or a month, you want to make sure that one really hits and it's something that people are looking for. So I definitely show you that process. Okay, perfect. Let's see if we have any more questions here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Peter's asking, I think we kind of covered this earlier, but maybe we can reinforce it um, for anybody who's maybe on the fence about where they're at. Peter was asking, I want to know what the results will be in, in investing in the program. Sure. Honestly, the results depend on your implementation. So what I'm going to give you is a very holistic framework to start building your business and taking it to the next level. So if you're coming to the calls, if you're really able to focus in on what you want, then we're going to be able to get those results for you. So I've had people who've gone out and, like I said, gotten those $20,000 sponsorship opportunities right out of the gate. And I've also had people who've shifted the name of their, their business and all of a sudden got tons more clients. So we're talking about a $697 investment. So if you're able through this course to get two or three more clients, it's going to cover your investment. I imagine we're going to do a lot better than that. But it also it depends on how you show up and the work that you do. And if you really come to the calls and you bring your questions, I know like people pay me $500 an hour to give them advice. And so you get that free, you know, seven sessions free. And I really do stay on the call until every, every question is answered. Then you're going to get a lot of free support that's going to far exceed the amount that you invest. And if you put that into play in your business right away, if you take actions, it sounds like from everything that I'm seeing about you that you've got a lot you're already doing and that you're really poised for success then I know that you're going to see ROI, okay? Well, Peter, it says, I see you say, I just need to sit down with you and get clients. So I think that if you get that private um, session with Marisa, that's where you would be doing that. Um, yeah. And it sounds like you're, you're doing 18 hours of work. We know you're working hard, and now it's just about working smart and using the kind of resources that you already have successfully. So that would be a great investment to use that time to, to talk about that directly with Marisa. So great. Um, great. So, ex excellent. Any last questions before we wrap up? I know we've gone way beyond our hour and a half, and there's still a, a huge amount of people on the call, so they're obviously interested in what you have to say. And so, if there aren't, if there are any last questions, we'll answer them, and and then if um, if not, then we will move forward. I see Peter's a asking some questions that I think Deb, you can answer privately. Yes, and then, I also wanted to welcome William to the group. 
Great, great. Welcome, William. Excellent. Any other last things? Oh, Julie's saying, Marisa, you rock. And so do I, Susan. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank great. You. Appreciate you uh, saying that. We love. Um, yeah, Marisa, this has been really eye-opening. As I told you when we were talking privately, I'm in the middle of rebranding and reworking my site. So this is some really great information. And I can't wait to take your course myself, because I know that when I first um, talked to you, you were in the middle of reworking some of the things. and just. Um, and just you know, just improving it as much as you could. Each iteration—that's the other thing that I really loved about you—is that you know, when we got on the phone, you're like, "Oh, Susan, you know, I've already gone through like eight iterations of this webinar and shifting the webinar." And I know you were doing that for your course, just trying to make it easier for people to absorb the information that you had. And I, I love that about you—that you're looking to make it as easy as possible for people to get this information and then and then put it into practice because that's really key. So that was something that was really important to me too about about what you offer and the way that you offer it. And I think we can all hear how committed Marisa is to your success and this kind of guarantee I can tell you it's pretty unheard of. Like I have not ever heard that they that they can stay in for the 14 weeks till the very end and then and then ask for their money back, but people don't because they're obviously getting results and because you're committed to personally helping them to make sure that their website and their brand is in sync so it is getting the kind of results that that um, that, that that people are hoping for, right? And we saw some of those as well, you know, that, that once you're applying and really doing what Marisa is telling you to, then, um, then that's when that's when that's when things start to happen for your business. Am I right? Absolutely, it really is the case. So you know, to actually start applying, and I give you lots of exercises too. I'm not just teaching theoretically. I give you a lot of exercises so you can relate what you're learning to your business, and then show up on the calls and say, "Here's what I'm doing. What do you think of this?" And then get feedback from me, get feedback from the Facebook community on what you're doing. So it's really structured that way. The very first quick start exercise that the, the dozen of you who've already signed up uh, are going to find it has you go right onto the Facebook group and start to see how other people are perceiving you. So that group is lit up right now with all the people who are getting, you know, there's three second impressions from other people. So it's a really close knit community. It's not one of these courses where there are a thousand people on it so you don't get any kind of real you know personal interaction you don't get to know the other people it's actually an intimate community and you're going to start to know people really well that's really great that well thank you so much this has been really wonderful and thank you all for staying for all of you who are staying for like two two has it been two hours it's been it two has. hours so yeah so thank you all for being so interested in what marisa has to say and and to, I think you can all see how important this is and how, how important it is for you to invest in someone who has this kind of integrity and not in the kind of people who are get rich quick or do this one little piece of it. Like this is the whole, this is the whole basis and foundation before you go out and try all those other little um, pieces from people. There are plenty of really great programs out there for those particular pieces. But this is the foundation from which all of those pieces are going to be are, are going to be used. So thank you so much, um, Marisa and and Deb for all of your help too, Deb. So thank you oh, so, my so, so much. Thank nice. you, Susan. I, I really appreciate it. You have a fabulous audience that you've built, and I've really enjoyed being on this call. So I wanted to say, you know, if you're still on the fence, you know, there's still 50 people on the call, so a lot of you are still here, and I think there's a reason for that, whether it's to listen to the Q&A or because you're deciding, you're not sure. I just want to encourage you to make a decision, whether it's a yes or whether it's a no, because I think what happens is people wait, and then the choice gets made for you. It's like the enrollment period comes and closes and then you're no longer able to do it and that choice gets made for you. So I just want to encourage you to make a choice because I'm going to leave the bonus open for another 15 minutes after the call ends. So if you still want to join, you still want to get that 45 minute one-on-one -on -one, you know, message and strategy session with me, you can go to liveyourmessage.com slash m to m. And if you still have questions, you can email Deb. She's available right after the call at support at liveyourmessage.com. And that's in the chat window too, and she'll answer your questions. I know some of you wanted to pay by PayPal or any other questions like that. 
you know, she'll support you. She's amazing. She supports me every single day. So I just want to encourage you to really do that, to make that choice for yourself, whether, yes, I want to go forward in my business or it's not the right time, but to clearly make a choice. And now before I go, I just want to leave you with a quote, and it's by Henry David Thoreau. And for me, it really captures some of what we've been talking about today. And he says, one is not born into the world to do everything, but to do something. And I just really want to encourage you to do that something that you're here to do. And to not worry about everything else, to really focus on what's going to get you the results, what's going to move the needle for you in your business. And for the dozen of you who've joined, who've taken that bold step in your business, I can't wait to make a dent in the universe with you. Thanks so much for putting your faith and your trust in me, and I just can't wait to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. So thank you, thank, thank you so much. So much. That was, this is really terrific. Thank you so much, Marisa. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye.